This is a spectacular skin case. You know it's skin, and you know there's a big crater here, and then know you have a thickening of the cells here, and then you have red junk inside the crater. And the other side of this cut skin biopsy looks exactly the same. Also notice that the parts of the normal skin around it uh, look fairly normal, and specifically, this lesion has been completely uh, excised. Um, it's almost a shame to diagnose this lesion uh, in terms of uh, cells and stuff like that. I will, but let me tell you, there's nothing else in the world on the skin that looks like this. And even inexperienced dermatologists and inexperienced pathologists can take a look at this and bingo, they say instantly, molluscum contagiosum. It's a virus and it's contagious and that's why they call it mol molluscum contagiosum. Uh, I'm going to describe it in more particular language anyway. Notice how the surface stuff inside the crater is mostly keratinized cells. Notice that these cells in the middle layer are purplish and they have granules inside of them. And notice that in the basal cell, cell layer, which is normally blue, uh, is still normally blue. Somebody described this once as a rainbow. It goes from red to purple to blue. And that's how I like to think of it. And we have the red keratinized cells inside the crater or along the surface. We're going to see a mixture of red granules inside of blue cells in the middle to form the purple, almost like a mixing of pixels. And then at the base, we don't see granular cells. We just see normally the blue cells, and they're blue because the uh, nucleus is pretty large with respect to the cytoplasm. So here's your rainbow, red, purple, granular, and blue. This is molluscum contagiosum. I'm sorry I had to describe it in details like this because once again, if you just back off and it's, it's the kind of thing that if you see it once in your life, for some reason you remember it forever. Thank you very much.